Breaking and developing news, Sky News understands that Dame Cressida Dick, the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, is to leave her job. We'll get the latest on that right now with our political correspondent, Joe Pike. And Joe, uh, Dame Cressida has been under heavy criticism for some time now, not least by the Mayor of London. Certainly. Sadiq Khan, earlier this week, saying that she was on notice, that he wanted to see uh, some change. Some saw that as him rolling the pitch ahead of a possible uh, dismissal. Dame Cressida today, in a, in a radio phone-in, said she had absolutely no intention of leaving her post. But tonight, we have a statement from the Mayor of London confirming she is departing. Sadiq Khan has said, last week I made clear to the Commissioner the scale of the change I believe is urgently required to rebuild the trust and confidence of Londoners in the Met and to root out the racism, sexism, homophobia, bullying, discrimination and misogyny that still exists. Of course, um, he was talking about that because of that really damaging report yeah. about the culture within Charing Cross Police Station. He continues in the statement, I am not satisfied with the Commissioner's response. On being informed of this, Dame Cressida Dick has said she will be... She will be standing aside. It is clear that the only way to start to deliver the scale of the change required is to have new leadership right at the top of the Met. I'd like to thank her for a 40 years uh, service. He talks about how Dame Cressida was the first woman, the first open, openly gay person uh, to lead the force, the biggest, uh, most important uh, police force in the country. And we understand that there will be a period of transition. She will remain in her post for a short period, whatever that is, uh, so a successor can be appointed. She does have Two uh, deputies, Sir Stephen House, who used to run Police Scotland, and Sir Craig McKee. Now, those would be obvious candidates, but, of course, they've been part of the same much-criticised organisation, and some, including uh, the mayor, may want somebody with a fresher outside perspective. And, Joe, does the government have to have a say in this decision as well? What is the formal process? They certainly do. Uh, Home Secretary Priti Patel is ultimately the person who needs to uh, sign off this. Uh, Sadiq Khan, of course, has oversight of the Met Police and the Commissioner, but he does need uh, Priti Patel to approve the decision. That clearly is what has happened today. We're likely to hear, I'm sure, from the Home Secretary and the Mayor of London uh, in the coming hours, but certainly this seems to be the end of the road, a sad end to uh, an otherwise reasonably mm. successful 40-year career for Dame Cressida Dick, but the bad headlines and the scandals did uh, happen again and again and again. Uh, most recently, of course, all these uh, reports about uh, the culture within her police force, but previously the Sarah Everard vigil last year and seemingly the police mishandling of that after, of course, a Met Police officer uh, did uh, kidnap and murder uh, Sarah uh, Everard. But some also, critics might look at this decision and question it, Dermot. I think it's fair to say that she was in a very politically difficult position at this moment because, of course, her force is investigating the Prime Minister and the key people who uh, live and work around him at the moment. So in the midst of that investigation, the person in charge of that whole force has been taken out. Uh, Sadiq Khan, of course, is a Labour mayor. Priti Patel is a Conservative Home Secretary. So I suppose you could argue, though, this uh, decision uh, has been a cross-party one. But something has changed rather rapidly because she was coming formally to the end of her term, wasn't she, this year? But that was extended not too very long ago for another two years. Exactly. She was originally appointed to a five-year term from April 2017 to April 2022, so just a couple of months off that, but towards the end of last year. Priti Patel did offer her a two-year extension. That would have taken Cressida Dick's contract running the Met as the Commissioner of the Police of the Metropolis uh, to April 2024. Obviously, that has not happened. The pressure on uh, Sadiq Khan to act has clearly been too much and, and she's gone. Joe, uh, just as we're speaking here, we've just got uh, a statement uh, from the Commissioner from Cressida Dick. Uh, it just coming in, I'll read it out. It says, uh, it is with huge sadness that following contact with the Mayor of London today, it's clear that the Mayor no longer has sufficient confidence in my leadership to continue. He has left me no choice but to step aside as Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police Service. Uh, at his request, I have agreed to stay on for a short period to ensure the stability of the Met and its leadership while arrangements are made for a transition to a new commissioner. Undertaking this role as a servant of the people of London and the UK has been the greatest honour and privilege of my life. Throughout my career, I've sought to protect the people of this wonderful, thriving and diverse city. There have been many tough calls, many challenges. The 2017 
terrorist attacks, the Grenfell fire, difficult protests, the pandemic, the murder of serving officers. I'm incredibly proud, she says, of my team and all they have achieved. Since day one, tackling violence in all its forms has been my number one priority. We continue to see teenagers murdered on our streets and every attack is a tragedy. But we are delivering and overall violence is down. The Met is bucking the national trend. We are achieving remarkable results.